Hello, hello, I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you're growing your digital business or your creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now in today's video, I am continuing on with my Flowdesk email marketing series. So far, we've learned how to set up your Flowdesk account, how to set up your branding as well as your branded templates on your Flowdesk account. And we've gone through two of the three ways to start collecting emails from your audience. The first way is your landing pages and the second way is to embed a pop-up onto your show it website. Today's video, we're going to be covering the third way, which is to create an inline embed into your show it website. So instead of having a separate landing page pop up or a pop up uh, show up on your show it website, we are actually going to embed that Flowdesk form, you know, the one where it says put in your email, put in your name, uh, that form will go right into your show it website as if it was already part of your website. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Flowdesk yet, be sure to use the links in the description below. You'll get your first month of Flowdesk for free and then the rest of your first year subscription for 50% off. So do not pay full price. Be sure to use the links in the description below and you'll get your 50% off right away. All right, so when you're ready, let's hop onto my laptop and let's create that inline embed form. All right, hello there, welcome to my laptop. We are logged into my Flowdesk account right now. And first things first, when you want to add somebody into a freebie or to get any sort of uh, email from you that's specific to a workflow, we are going to be creating a segment. So we're gonna head to audiences and we're gonna click on segment here and we are going to add a new segment. So just like we have done in a previous um, tutorial, we've done this for landing pages now, we've done this for uh, pop-ups on Show It. Now we're actually gonna be focusing on doing um, this opt-in for an inline show it right into your website. So um, again, we are going to create a new segment and for whatever the opt-in is, you're gonna name it that there. So let's say you're giving away um, a guide to three ways uh, to improve your website or something like that. And we're gonna give it a color and we're gonna save it so we have your new segment now. Now we're going to head to forms and we're gonna choose um, new form here. And we are going to choose, we've done the landing page, we've done the pop-up. If you wanna see those tutorials, head to the description below and you'll see the other videos in this series. This uh, particular video, we are going to be creating an inline. So let me just show you what we're creating right now. So this is my show it website right now. So um, let's just go back to the homepage. You can kind of see like which canvas. Um, so this is my homepage. And right now at the very end of my webpage, there's this little footer. Sorry, this is kind of covering it right now. But basically my footer currently looks like this right here. And so typically um, in, in order to save space on my footer, I do a landing page. So if they click on either this image right here or they click on subscribe, they're gonna be led to one of my Flowdesk landing pages. Now, let's just say you don't wanna do the landing page, you wanna do like a full embedded form in here. That's an inline form. So this will be showed up as like where you can actually input your name and your um, email address and then actually click on submit. So I'm going to, I just created a duplicate of this footer and I called it just example here. So this is gonna be the duplicate and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete all of this right here. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put like that form right in this space here. So uh, that means that this needs to be styled in a way that will show up here. So it'll probably be one of my darker colors so that that form will show up nicely. All right, so we're gonna head back into Flowdesk and we're gonna choose a template that looks like will fit in that space nicely. So obviously um, I wanna have like 
um, actually no background. So whichever one is the most simple, I'm just going to go with the most simple one. Um, and we're going to choose that segment that we just created. So we're going to save it. So anyone who puts their email into this form right here will be added to the freebie segment. All right. So, um, I need this form to fit into this space nicely. So when you are, um, customizing this, just keep that in mind. So I am going to actually remove, um, instead of using Flowdesk to, um, you know, put all of this information, I actually just want the form to be created on Flowdesk and we can create everything else on show it. I prefer that way because then it's easier for me to update it right on, uh, on show it. And if there's any kind of customization I want to do, I can just do that easily on show it. So I'm going to actually, uh, remove this, uh, some of these things here. So let me just see, how do I, I'm going to remove that, remove this. And then I want nothing but the form here. And we're going to remove the canvas here. So this is going to show up as invisible now the, that one yeah so this is going to show up as invisible now so the background will have no color i'm going to make this the least wide as possible so that it's just showing the form uh horizontally and i am actually going to go into this form here and i'm going to remove last name because i don't actually ask for last name in my form but if you would like to you can go ahead and do that so i just need to make sure that the form says first name and email address and uh we're just going to start styling this uh form now so we're going to go into colors and we're going to use one of our darker fonts because remember we are embedding it into a lighter space. So I'm going to do a lighter font, uh, I mean a darker color, and then I'm going to put one of my, um, brand fonts in there. The style, I actually like to do like a, mm, should we do a bubble with color actually? Maybe. Maybe like that. Yeah. And then for the button, we're going to do a darker color again. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to change the font. And I think that looks really good. So, um, this is looking great on the mobile format. It'll look like this instead. So this is just going to be the form on Flowdesk for everything else. We are going to say like, you know, all of the information about like, you know, subscribe, get your free, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do that all on the show it side. So we're going to click on Nix here and we're going to uh, do double opt-in. I'm going to notify myself, um, show success message. And then you're going to get these two um, codes to embed into your website. So it's really important that you actually put this header into whichever page that this form will show in. So for example, if this form will show up in all of your pages because it's in your footer, then you want to make sure that you are copying this code and you are putting it on the header of every single page on your website. So, um, you're going to go ahead and copy this and we are going to basically go through every page and we're going to, let's say, we're going to start with your homepage. Um, all you have to do is head to the header here, and then you are going to add, um, this little footer, uh, this tag into this header section. So I'm just going to add this here right now. And then, um, you're going to add it to whichever page this, um, form will also show up in. And then we're going to copy this as well. And this is the inline code. So we're going to head into that footer that we just added, and we're going to add that embed code into this space here. So I'm going to add an embed code, double click it, and we're going to paste that second embed into this section. And we are, it's going to be in here. Sometimes it doesn't show up properly, but let's just go to preview. Actually, you won't be able to see this until we put it into a page. So I'm just going to add this 
footer into my home page um, right now. So I'm gonna add a new canvas. I'm gonna add in that opt-in footer right at the bottom. And it should show up at the very bottom of the page now. So let's just go to preview it now and see if it'll show up properly and whether we need to restyle it or not. All right, let's head to the preview. So the footer will probably show up twice right now. All right, so it is showing up, um, but there is uh, some sort of a layout issue. So I wanna make sure that it's not stacked like this. So what we can do is we can just go back to show it and just see if we can adjust it. So let's go into the footer again right here. And we're just gonna go into this box here and just extend it until it looks correct. Okay, there we go. So it looks a lot better here. So now we have this form here, but we need to add, I think it needs to be like lowered a little bit and then we're gonna add all of our information up at the top here. So let's go back to show it and we're going to make this box a little bit lower. Sometimes you just kind of guesstimate where the things are because the embed box doesn't show the preview properly. So now we're gonna add uh, maybe like a little a header here and we're just gonna say like, or maybe I'll say email me my free guide. I'm gonna put that right there and it's gonna hit somewhere right on top of the uh, all of the embed here. So I'm just gonna preview it again and we're gonna see if it looks like it's in the right spot. Almost, we almost got it right. So I'm gonna move, just make sure to align this a little bit better. Sometimes it is hard to do that. So we're gonna just keep playing around with it until we get it right. All right, that looks pretty good. So if you wanna add any other description here or even an image here of your free guide, then um, it makes sense. Obviously this is like just an example. So it's very, very like preview like, but just you know, add all of your text here. This is a reason why it's better to actually do it on the show it side because then you can add images or whatever you like and style it however you like and only basically create the form um, on Flow Flowdesk as an embed. All right, and that is how you create your Flowdesk inline embed form embedded into your show it website. I hope that was helpful. And if it was, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to watch the rest of this Flowdesk email marketing series. All right, now we've covered all three ways on how you can start collecting emails from your audience, but how do you actually get them to want to sign up for your email newsletter in the first place? In the next video that's part of the series, we are going to go through how to create a workflow to deliver a freebie to someone who signs up for your email newsletter. This is one of the most easy ways to start growing your email list, so be sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>